So here we have a sequence of terms in an arithmetic sequence. And it is an arithmetic sequence. It starts at 3. The common difference is 4. So each term goes up by 4. And what we're going to do is we're going to add them all up. Add up all those numbers. And first of all, we're going to do it by hand, the hard way. And then we're going to learn the trick, which is uh, also called working mathematically. And the trick leads to a formula. And the idea of doing this is three, three ideas. First of all, that you'll be able to know that there is a formula for adding up lists of numbers that happen to be an arithmetic sequence. The second one is what the formula is, what it looks like. And thirdly, perhaps most importantly, is if you're allowed to use it. If you're in a situation where you have a list of numbers, are you allowed to use this particular formula? So here we go. We're doing it the hard way to start off with. We just add up the numbers. And uh, 3, we're going to cheat because we have a computer. We're going to cheat. 3 plus 7 is 10, plus 11 is 21, plus 15 is 36, plus 19 is 55, plus 23 is 78, plus 27 is 105, plus 31 is 136, plus 35 is 171, plus 39 is 210, plus 43 is 253. And it is hard and boring to do even with a calculator. You know, it's hard to type all the numbers in without making any mistakes. It's hard to know that when you've get to the, got to the end, you've got a number. Is it the right number? And they're boring. There's probably better things that you can do with your time. So what we're going to do is look at a bit of a trick. We're going to fold the list in half. We're going to take the last term and we're going to stick it under the first term. We're going to take the second last term and stick it under the second term and so on and so on. So it just looks like this. Yeah, fold it around. All this you have to imagine in your head, but here you're seeing it happen. One less thing you have to imagine. And we line them up like that. Now because we've got an odd number of terms, there's 11 terms, we've got one sitting over here by itself in the middle. So we're just going to leave that there by itself, but it's still the same list. Just rearranged. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start adding up these numbers, but we're going to do it in pairs. We're going to add this first pair together, 3 and 43 add to 46. The second term, 7 and 39, also add to 46. Ah, maybe a bit of a pattern here. 11 and 35, add to 46. 15 and 31, 46. 19 and 27, add to 46. And the 23. So it sort of makes sense. As these numbers are going up by 4, the ones underneath, because we rever reversed the orders, they're going down by 4. So when you add them together, they're all going to be equal to the first term plus the last term. And when you get to the middle term, the 23 is exactly half of the 46 term. So when you see down here, you've got 11 terms. You've got five and a half groups. Half of 11 is five and a half groups of 46, where the 46 comes from the first term and the last term. And when you multiply, that's the working mathematically bit, when you multiply the 5.5, lots of 46, you end up with 253, which is the answer we got before when we added them all up one at a time. And that's where the formula comes in. The formula basically says what we're going to do is take the first term and the last term, add them together, and then multiply by half the number of terms. And we'll get the answer. So. What you can do if you change the number of terms, say, and change where they start, and change the difference between them, you can go back to the beginning here. See, so in minus 3, plus 5 is 2, plus 5 is 7, etc., etc., all the way up. Then we're going to add them together, cheating. You're right to the end, and you've got 987. And we're going to rearrange them, take the list, fold it in half. You add them all up. Minus 3 and 97 is 94. Positive 2 and 92, also 94. 
each of those sums adds to 94. The middle term, 47, is exactly half of 94. So we've got 10 and a half groups, 10 and a half being half of this 21. Groups of 94, which is 987. You get the same number. And that's where the formula comes from.